When recording video or live streaming, OBS is a great tool to do exactly those things. But how do you actually get different kinds of media into OBS for recording? In this video today, I wanna cover how you can actually record your iPhone's screen completely with everything that you see on it on OBS inside of that program and of course, by doing so, you also can then live stream your screen to the world. In this video, I wanna cover two solutions with which you can do that. One is a wired solution and one is a completely wireless solution with NDI sources. Now, why would you actually want to do that? The most obvious reason would be probably to be able to show something that you have on your screen to the people on the other side of the video or live stream. Now, that might be interesting for gameplay. It might also be interesting for a presentation, different kinds of photos, or maybe you are trying to record a tutorial of some sort and don't have to screen record and record a different video in parallel and then do a edit of that. With OBS, you can actually do all of those things basically in one go as if you are recording a live event and then you can maybe just take out a couple of parts that you didn't like that much. Now, there are two different ways that I wanna highlight in this video. And one way is by using a simple USB lightning to USB adapter. And of course, I also need a USB-C adapter on the other end because I have a MacBook that only has USB-C ports. And thus, this is the choice of cables that I need for this. And the interesting thing there is that it actually is as easy as just plugging in your iPhone on the one end, plugging the other end into your computer, and thus you have everything set up on that standpoint. Of course, then on the computer screen, we need OBS Studio. And if you don't have that installed already, it is super simple to install on Mac OS and you can just simply download it from the link in the description below. But then once you have that set up, you have a new blank scene and we want to add a source. And for this purpose, we're going to add a video capture device. Now let's just name this in some random way. And now if I unlock my screen here for my iPhone and I go into the devices up here, you can see my iPhone, which is called Spiegel.io iPhone. And as I select this, you can also select a preset for the resolution. I wanna go with high. And with that, we are done on that screen. And now you can see this is too big for the screen up here. And what I like to do there is a simple right click and then go to the transform. And there I can say fit to screen. And the cool thing there is that it doesn't stretch the video in any kind of way. It just simply fits the viewing area onto the screen. And also interestingly enough, for example, if I have another application, let's say I have the time bar, and I use this tentacle sync. If I now go sideways, it also goes sideways on the screen there and it stays inside of that box when you are switching between these two modes. And that's something that I think is really cool that you can have a basically a border in which the video stays no matter if it's uh, in portrait mode or if it's in landscape mode. So that's one way that you can do this. Of course, you can also go into transform and then edit transform and choose your settings as you would wish. And also you can of course change that by simply dragging and dropping this. And again, it stays inside of that bounding box for this type of setup. So that's one way. This is a very simple way. However, something that I also found is that this does not work by, for example, using this in Zoom or Skype. There, this type of capture of the device is actually not recognized. So one of the ways that you would get your phone screen into something like Zoom or Skype would probably also be the ability to then start a virtual camera right in OBS and then use your OBS camera setup to then also use that inside of Zoom and so on. This now is something that is already integrated into OBS in Windows as well as Mac OS. So that's a huge step forward to make that more easy. 
However, something that this method of the USB connection into OBS with the iPhone screen does actually not support is the ability to also transfer these sounds from your phone to your computer, which would be really useful if you, for example, want to do gameplay recording or similar things. Now, another method that I want to show here that also works without a cable, so I can disconnect this, and as you can see, now we don't have a connection on the screen here anymore. The different method here would be to use an application which is called NDI HX Capture. Now, this is a method which uses the wireless connection of your Wi-Fi, and opening that application up, it already shows this screen, which is the very bare bones screen because there are not really many settings. Now, the only thing that there is to do is you click that record button and then you basically tell the system what kind of recording you want to do. Now, I will not be able to record the screen at the same time as I'm also doing the NDI HX capture stream over NDI into OBS Studio as soon as I hit this button. So that's going to stop the recording. And now we have the broadcast on this side working with the screen capture. And now inside of OBS with the proper plugins and runtimes installed, I will have a couple links down in the description because you actually need the NDI runtime as well as the NDI plugin for OBS and install those. And once you have installed all of those things, then you can go to the plus icon again, add a NDI source. And with that, you can select the NDI source Spiegel.io iPhone display. And I like to use the highest source timing, allow hardware acceleration, and I like to use the low experimental latency mode. And now if I hit the OK button right there, we have the NDI capture going to the Mac over Wi-Fi because the phone actually is not connected to the screen. And now, as you can see, I can also switch between my screens there, go on here and again, set this to fit to screen so that it is filling the screen. And if I go back into the time bar, once again, if I turn this over and I have it sideways, then you will see that it turns on the screen there as well. Now, something interesting here is what if you have sound playback? And as you can see on the screen on the Mac inside of OBS, the NDI source actually already added a stream of audio, which is called NDI source. So now, for example, if I open a video that I made on YouTube here, you can see that the audio is actually showing up on the NDI source captured on the Mac. So now I have the screen sideways. It is playing back my own video and it has the audio visible right there on the screen. And the interesting thing is that it is still audible on the iPhone as well. So it is audible on the iPhone that, for example, if you're doing gameplay, then you will still be able to hear the sound coming from the iPhone, but you can also have the audio inside of OBS. Now, this is how you can stream your iPhone screen into OBS and use that for recording or live streaming purposes. Now, the first method with the cable is a standard connection between your iPhone and your macOS system. That's completely free aside from using a lightning to USB cable. The other method, the NDI HX Capture, is a app from NewTek, and that application costs around 11 euros, maybe something around that in the US dollars as well. So that's not completely free. However, it is super easy to use and gets the job done with the addition of also being able to stream the audio from your iPhone to your Mac. Now that's a wrap on how you can get your iPhone screen onto OBS for recording or live streaming purposes. If you have any more questions, you can leave those in the comment section down below. And of course, leave a like if this video was helpful for you. Now, I hope you have fun streaming, recording, or doing any of those other things, and I will see you in the next video. Ciao, ciao.